Well, we're now joined by Exeter City's Nicky Law. Nicky, thanks for joining us, first of all. How excited are you to have this opportunity of promotion? Yeah, we are. We're, we're delighted, obviously. Um, navigated our way through, obviously, the semi-finals. Um, two tough games against Colchester. Um, and, yeah, obviously the reward now of, of the final at Wembley, which is always a great occasion. Obviously, it'll be a little bit different this time around, but um, playing, obviously, at Wembley at, at any point um, is always a great occasion. Um, and, obviously, even better if, if you can win. Quite a way to do it as well in extra time. Did you always have that belief in, in the squad that you could turn that first leg deficit around? Yeah, we did. Um, I think we felt reasonably hard done by in the first leg. I don't think we deserve to lose. I don't think we deserve to win the game either. But I think the, the draw, obviously, on reflection, sent like a fair result. But um, I think when you're going away in the first leg, you, you obviously... If you do lose, you, you don't want to lose by more than one goal. And obviously, we came away with the, the one nil defeat, but there was no doom and gloom afterwards. We always felt that um, going into the home leg, obviously at, at St James's Park, where we've been so strong, um, particularly this season, but, but over my two years since I've been here, anyway, we, we've always we've always performed well at home, and, and the results have kind of backed that up. So there was a there was a confidence still there. Um, Nice, obviously, to, to score early on. Um, that kind of settles a few nerves, if you like. And, and I think once we go 2-0 up, we felt that maybe with the chances created and things like that, we could have maybe made it a little bit easier for ourselves. But it seems to be, obviously, what we do, really kind of do things a difficult way. But um, now, as you say, then to, to go into extra time and, and the lads, obviously, I came off, but the lads out there that were doing 120 minutes in, in the heat that day, it was a... An unbelievable effort from from the whole squad, really. So, um, no, we were delighted, and as I say, I think we were we were always quietly confident that we could get get through the two legs and obviously have a crack at the final. Yeah, but your third game back as well. Do you sort of have, you know, having those two games under your belt? How much will that help you in the final? Do you think as well, especially that in a way having that 120 minutes well, would that help you because getting those minutes under your belt is, is vitally important after such a long time off yeah it is um, I think it, it certainly won't hurt it'll definitely help I mean it's, it's a strange situation at the minute really with these games that we're playing in a usual schedule they'd probably be your second third games of, of pre-season games if you like um, with such a long layoff that we'd had um, so fitness levels were always going to be low I think you see that even in the in the top part like, of the games there, they've been a little bit slower and you've picked up injuries and things like that. So, um, but obviously it's been the same for everybody. So it's, it's kind of an even keel in that sense. But um, no, that'll, that'll definitely help us. As you say, the 120 minutes um, is in the bank, as they say. And um, yeah, it'll help. I think the games at Wembley are always tough. I've been fortunate enough to have a couple of games there myself. Um, the results have not gone my way, but it's it's a it's a sapping pitch anyway. At, at the best of times, when you're at the top of your fitness, it's a it's a big pitch. You've got the nervous energy and things like that. So it's um, yeah, it's it's always a as I say, energy sapping day at the best of times playing at Wembley. So um, no, we'll we'll need those minutes that we've got. And, um, but as we say, it's it's the same for both sides. Um, obviously, I think if if maybe the fit of the two sides maybe. Um, would go a long way to, to prevail and obviously the winner of the game, I think. Obviously, it's um, unprecedented times, isn't it? And it'll be a different experience at Wembley, but how much has that changed your preparation for this match? You know, obviously, the game's still of the same magnitude, you know, a playoff final. Yeah, um, obviously, I think you, you try and treat every game as similar as you possibly can. I mean, it's, of course, that... It's difficult and you, you know, obviously, these playoff games are, are high-pressure games. Uh, even the two semi-final games, there's, there's pressure on those ones. Um, but, yeah, as you say, I think preparation will, will try and be as, as normal as it always would be for any other game. I think that'll be the same for Northampton as well. Um, you just, obviously, try and treat it as if it's any other game, although it isn't. You know, the, there's a lot riding on the game. There's, there's huge pressure on the game for both sides. Um yeah, that comes into play as well. I think in these games, you can maybe handle that that extra pressure the the better. Uh, we have some a good 
a um, crop of experienced players with um, quite a lot of promotions uh, in our camp as well. And, and those experiences will definitely help. I know Northampton have that as well. So, um, yeah, I think, again, whoever maybe handles that, that pressure, the better on the day will, will um, yeah, it'll go a long way to, to kind of deciding who wins the game, really. How much of a relief was it as well to, to get through after the curtailment and have this chance of promotion? Because obviously the chance of automatic promotion, which you would have been in with a shout with, was taken away. Yeah, it was... Um... Yeah, it was, it was it was tough. I think obviously the the longer the the lockdown went on, you you probably felt that it was going to be even more difficult to, to kind of finish the season. The nine remaining games, it was it was looking less and less likely that we were gonna we were gonna have that chance. Um, and obviously, I think at points it maybe looked like that maybe only the the top three would get that obviously opportunity to go up. Um, we you weren't sure whether the the playoffs were going to take place and things like that as well. So it was a a strange situation but um no i think we were delighted probably along with the other three sides that if we weren't going to get that chance to just kind of go up automatically that we that we still have the chance to to kind of go up anyway and um i think it worked both ways i mean there was no guarantee that we were going to obviously go up automatically anyway although we felt we had a good chance um you could have maybe quite easily have come back and had a terrible run in the nine games, you may not have even had a chance of, of the playoffs as well. So um, you, you just never knew how it was going to go. But to have that chance to, to do it, as I say, we, we're, we're a confident side in that we believe in in our style of play and obviously the, the tactics the manager kind of uses with us. Um, and we, we knew that if we play to our best of our, of our ability, then we'd, we'd, we'd have a shot, obviously, of, of playing in the final. Um, Obviously, we're up against a, a very good side, a very strong side, physical side, uh, with a lot of experience and good players as well. So it's, it's going to be another tough game on the back of, obviously, two tough games uh, last week as well. Quite a quick turnaround as well with this final. I think in my previous experiences of, of kind of winning semi-finals, usually you have maybe a, a 10 to 14 day wait for the final, which, which sometimes isn't, isn't ideal. I think whereas this one, you kind of three or four days, obviously, maybe turn around and, and obviously you're looking at the final as well. I think that's that's a good thing. I think it's not too much time to obviously think about the game and you kind of, I think we'll train tomorrow and then we'll travel down on Sunday and, and the game's Monday. I think before you know it, it'll be here. So um, lots to look forward to. We're excited. Um, of course, we feel that we have a bit of momentum as well going into the game, turning the first leg around, as will Northampton. But... Um, yeah, we, we know that if we play to the best of our ability on any day, we, we have a great chance of beating anybody in the league. So, um, of course, it'll be up to us to perform. Hopefully we do. And um, hopefully for myself, third time lucky and, and obviously for the club as well. Yeah, you mentioned that in, in terms of for the club. Um, obviously, members of this team have experienced that heartache from, you know, a few years ago. Uh can you see the hunger in the players that are still there as well, as well as yourself, who, who've been through that to, to, you know, do one better this time? Yeah, definitely. It spurs you on, of course. You, you remember the, the feeling of losing at Wembley, which is, is, is the worst feeling, I think, in football. Obviously, you fight all season long to get the chance to kind of go up. They say that the playoffs, if you can come out on top of the four sides, it's the best way to go up. But I think also, on the other hand, if you lose, it's... It's definitely the worst way. Even, as you say, the semi-finals is tough to take, but it, I think the one at Wembley is even tougher to take, losing there on, on such a big stage and things like that. So, um, yeah, there's definitely a confidence, a, a determination in the camp, if you like, to to hopefully not have that feeling again. Um, I think that will definitely definitely help us and hopefully spur us on. Um, but of course, there's, there's two sides, two good sides there, and neither of us want to lose. So, um you just never know, and obviously the playoffs, anything can happen, and, and I'm sure it will. There'll be plenty of ups and downs on the day. Um, but yeah, as you say, hopefully the, the maybe the past experiences of myself and, and the boys that have been there as well and, and lost two finals of late, um, hopefully that determination will, will just get us over the line this time. You've obviously played at a higher level yourself as well. Can you see in the current squad that you're in that they're capable of playing 
at that high level. This team is capable of playing, you know, and competing in League One. Yeah, yeah, we we definitely like to think so. Um, there's some, obviously, as I say, touched on earlier, some good experience in the squad, but obviously Exeter is a club of of trying to bring through talented youth players as well, whether that's for our own system or bringing kind of young guys on and, and bringing them on. Like people like, obviously, Randall Williams, who, who maybe didn't come through the youth here, but was young enough to, to improve, and we've seen a huge improvement in him over his time here. Uh, and we've got some, obviously, an exciting crop of youngsters as well who... Um, who are going to have great futures, I'm sure. And yeah, as you say, we've we've played some good sides this year uh, in the uh, the leasing trophy, uh, League One sides at the top end of that. Um, obviously, Ipswich, Oxford at home, and came through both of those. Uh, and we went obviously all the way to the last minute in uh, away at Fratton Park as well in the in the semi final slash final type thing um, in that as well. So there's definitely. Um, we've shown over those games that we, we could compete, obviously, if we're lucky enough to, to kind of get over the line on Monday, then, um, yeah, we definitely feel we have the talent there to to obviously um, do ourselves proud in the, in the league above. And, and obviously with the times and things like that, you never, you don't really know what changes are going to be made to the squad and things like that. So a lot, obviously, to happen before that can, can kind of bear fruit, if you like. But, no, there's definitely a confidence in, in the quality that we have in the ranks here um, but of course we, we have a big job to do on Monday and then hopefully if we if we get that over the line we can maybe look towards that after the game. But looking at Northampton um, they obviously came back and surprised everyone in their, their second leg. Did you know that they were capable of doing something like that? Yeah I, th- I don't think obviously anybody felt that Northampton were out of it um, of course the, the record I think of, of overturning um, that that the first home leg of losing by two goals is I think only maybe two teams before we've done that, um, and I think with the way Cheltenham played that day, they were excellent that day. I think everybody could see what a good side Cheltenham were that day. I think obviously the penalty save early on for Northampton and things like that maybe worked against them on the day, but you never obviously felt obviously it was going to be difficult um, for them to do, but you, you felt that it was something that was that they were capable of as a team. Um, we played them twice this year. Had a really good game at St James's Park, where we came out on top three um, two. And then in the away leg, we we were quite poor that day in the in the away game. Sorry, at their stadium, they they beat us two 0 that day, um, and we weren't great ourselves. It was one of our poorer performances of the season. Um, but you could see in those two games, obviously, what a good side they were. The, the talented players they have in their squad. They're they're a big side. They're very physical. They're, they're good from obviously corners, long throws, and they put you under pressure. They they play forward, they run forward, and, and as I say, they're they're an aggressive side, difficult, one of the most difficult sides to play in our league, I think, on that day. Um, and I'm sure Monday will be no different. Um, but obviously, on the other hand, I'm, I'm pretty sure they know that that we're a decent side as well, and they'll be expecting a tough day um, themselves. But they'll have huge momentum as well. Obviously, overturning that two 0 um, away as well at such a difficult stadium like, like Cheltenham who haven't lost many games this season it will give them great confidence and, and huge momentum as well going into it so um, no it's, it'll be two good sides two attacking sides I'm sure it'll be a good game um, but as we touched on hopefully we'll we'll have enough on the day to stand up to to everything that they can throw at us and, and hopefully we'll have just too much for them on the day but we'll see on Monday Yeah and, and we saw obviously that the you mentioned Cheltenham and they've obviously got the best uh, record in the EFL in terms of their defensive record and, and they managed to do that on you know, the ground. So has, has that changed your preparation for the final in, in any way, watching the way that Northampton played in that second leg? Um, I think the way they played is, is what we had expect from um, Northampton anyway. Um, that is, obviously, I think how you saw them that day is how they play. They do get the ball forward, they, they attack. Uh, they get bodies forward, throw bodies forward, crosses in the box, they make you defend, they ask you questions. Um, Monday will be no different, I'm sure about that. Um, it's just, obviously, we have to deal with that. We have to be strong and deal with that in the first place. I think our manager has done so far and will do over the next couple of days. We'll prepare us for that uh, the best he can, as he did for the two league games. Um, 
And then, of course, it's important that, that on the other hand, that when we get the ball, we, we do the things that have, have got us a lot of success this season. And that's obviously how we like to try and play, try and get the ball down, get the ball wide and, and things like that. So it's um, two slightly different styles of play. Um, obviously, no wrong, no right. Is that better on the day? Um, hopefully, as I say, it'll be ourselves. Um, but no, we'll, we'll prepare as we do for, for every game with the, the utmost respect for our opposition, but also trying to obviously make sure that we do the things that have got us in this position as well. Well, Nicky, thanks for your time. It sounds as if you have to get back to, to the little one, so we'll leave it there. And good luck on Monday. Appreciate that. Thank you.